What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to your channel. I'm on Talks and Gaming today, people. Today, we are going to be going over the first place YCS Philly win a mat deck profile uh, piloted by Patrick. This is going to be no no one suspects the Dark Scorpion Gang. It's a really cool deck, and if you're new to Speed Duels, highly recommend checking it out, trying it out. It's a lot of fun to play, but without further ado, we're going to jump right into this. Uh, no one suspects Dark Scorpion Gang is a really unique skill that came out in the uh, Duelist of Shadow box. Um, it reads as follows once per duel during your main phase. If you control Dodd's Lug, you can discard a card to special summon two Dark Scorpion monsters with different names from your hand and deck, but one from each. Uh, Don's Luke and Dark Scorpion monsters you control can, uh, can attack directly, but when they do, using this skill, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent becomes 400. So they kind of become tunes in that sense, but they're only doing 400 damage for that. But it's pretty cool. You cannot summon or set any monsters except Don's Luke and Dark Scorpion monsters. So you are literally just locked onto Dark Scorpions. But that's not a bad thing because all the Dark Scorpions are actually really strong. This helps you cheat out the ones that are a little bit harder to summon. So... Yeah, uh, the monster lineup for this is pretty obvious with the triple Don's Uh He's piloting three Don's Alug because it's the bread and butter of the deck. Your skill is completely based around it. He has the ability that when he inflicts damage, and every Stark Scorpion has this type of ability when they inflict damage, they get to do something. He can either rip a card from your opponent's hand or send a top two cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. So you're like kind of slowly milling your opponent out um, uh, if they're not on a, uh, you know, graveyard-based deck, or you're just kind of controlling the board with their effects. The other one that's really played uh, is Gorg the Strong. This is my favorite one. I think probably one of the best ones. He has the ability that when he inflicts damage, you can target a monster opponent controls and return that target to the top of the deck, or send the top card of the deck to the graveyard. So this is really cool. It kind of, in a way, yada locks your opponent if they're in a weird position, and it kind of punishes people who are waking the dragon and have a set back row that they can't really activate. So this card just proactively keeps setting that card to the top of the deck. It's really strong in that regard. The other card is going to be one of the newer ones. This is Dark Scorpion Cliff the Trap Remover. He's really cool because he gets to target a spell or trap card on the field and you destroy it. So he's spelling trap removal and he also has the Don's Luke effect that allows you to mill off the top two cards of your opponent's deck. And then the ban card in the remote duels is uh, Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. Uh, we are going to be playing him at a two and he is also really strong in the regard of you can target a card on the field and return that target to the hand. So he compulses. Uh, he doesn't have a mill effect like the other ones do. He actually has an ability to allow you to look at your, the top card of your opponent's deck and either put it on the top or bottom of the deck. This is the reason why it's banned in remote duels because your opponent doesn't get to see this card and there's no real way for you to be like, here's my card, check it out, you know what I mean, um, without you, you know seeing it yourself. A Lore of Darkness is going to be played at 2. This is the 2 of off of the uh, Speed Duels Limited list. Um, it's pretty good. Get to your Dark or Dawn's Alug a little bit faster. Uh, Galaxy Cyclone is going to be played at 2 in the main deck. It's a really good spell and trap removal. Um, Night Beams are cool, but I do like Galaxy Cyclone inducing it strong in this format. Shrink is also going to be played at 2 in this deck. It's very proactive right now because of the Banisher Joey beatdown deck. That skill really does need to get hit at some point, but that's a conversation for another video. Shrink is going to be played at 2 in here. For the trap lineup, we're on the 3 of Floodgate Trap Hole. This is our 3 of from the limited list. Um, this is just to set the opponent's monster face down, control the board, and then attack right over them, which your Dark Scorpions. Waboku is going to be played at 2 in this list. And uh, he did make a mention to me that instead of Waboku, we would much rather have played Zero Gravity. Um, that's uh, because if your opponent is able to switch your uh, Dark Scorpions on the field to defense position in this format and attack with the Drillroids, Waboku's not doing anything for you. So we would much rather have played the Zero Gravity over it. Uh, again, Galaxy Cyclone is going to be the, the, in the side deck. This would be your third zero gravity um, if you wanted to. Again, Waboku's not that strong right now. He's on the double seven tools of the bandit that does come up against really strong trap decks. In our match that we played during my win a box that I got second place in, or win a met that I got second place in, uh, he actually used this card against me. It's very strong in this format. I don't know why more people aren't on it. Um, and in this deck in particular, if you run into the wall of disruption, you do need to have a way to negate that trap. Uh, Mind Crush is also going to be played at 2 in this list. Uh, the reason why Mind Crush is in here is generally just because a lot of uh, decks this format are adding combo pieces to hand, and Cyber Angels is still around, so you still want to kill them as fast as possible. Uh, and then you got your Waking the Dragon Bluff. This is his exact Waking the Dragon Bluff, and I saw it was really funny. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you leave a like on this video. Um, big shout out to Patrick. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.